So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a really simple Python script that when we enter in somebody's YouTube username, will return to us the number of subscribers that that channel has. So the script is called subs.py and if I just run that now, it says enter a username. If I enter the username for how code, that's the username that the how code channel was created under. If I hit enter, you can see it says that that channel has 33,036 subscribers and you can see that it formatted the number properly and all we had to do was provide the username. If I was to run it again and I was to type in PewDiePie and I hit enter, you can see it returns that he has 57 million subscribers, but it also formats the number properly so it's a lot easier to read. So this is really easy to set up. So for this to work, we're going to use YouTube's data API. So to get it to work, we have to create an API key. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to console.developers.google.com forward slash APIs. And we're going to create a credential. We're going to create an API key. And you can see that's just created a new key for me. Because I already have one, I'm just going to delete that one. And for this API key to work, what we have to do is we have to go to library and we scroll down and we go to YouTube data API and we have to enable that. So once we enable that and we generate our API key, we should be good to go. So here's the Python script. It's really, really simple. So we're not using an SDK or anything like that. We're just going to use Python to send a HTTP request to Google and they're going to tell us the number of subscribers. So what we do is we import URL lib.request and that's the library that lets us send requests. Then what we're going to do is we're going to import JSON. So the first thing we do is we tell the user to enter a username and we use Python's input function to tell the user that to get input from the terminal and store the value that we type in the name variable. Then what we do is we store the API key in a variable and then all we have to do is we use URL lib.request.url open and we pass the URL of Google's YouTube API. So what we do is we pass in this URL and we pass in a special parameter called part and we set that equal to statistics. That tells Google to return this section in the response and this tells us the view count, the subscriber count, the video count and stuff like that. So you can see we want the subscriber count. So after we've done that, what we do is we also said that we want to get the subscriber count for a particular user. So you can see it says for user name and we pass in the username that we asked for at the beginning then what we do is we specify our API key by adding another parameter called key and it's going to be equal to our API key. Then what we do is we convert the response to a string. That's what the dot read method does. Then what we do is we say our number of subscribers is equal to our data, which is the string that we downloaded from Google. So it's just going to be this exact string here. What we do is we convert that JSON string to a Python dictionary. That's what JSON.loads does. And that allows us to access it like we would a regular Python dictionary. So we can access the items element in the JSON just by using Python's array operator and accessing the data using the items key. So within items, you can see it's an array. You can see this square bracket here. And within items, there's one item. So we access that item using the zeroth index because it's the first item and it's the, and it's the only item in the response. Then you can see within that item, there's a statistics element. So we access that. And then within statistics, there's subscriber count, which we access just by using the word subscriber count. So once we've done that, the number of subscribers will be stored as a string in subs. And then what we do is we print it out. So we say whoever it is, how code has a certain number of subscribers. Then we say the word subscribers and we print out this emoji just because we can. So all this section does is we convert the subs to an integer. And then because it's an integer, we can format it using the dot format method. All this format method does is it adds the commas into the number. So if it's a thousand, it's going to have one comma zero 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 as opposed to if it was just one big long number. And that's all we have to do. So if I just run it one more time, you can see it says creative code has 33,036 subscribers. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. The source code of this video will be on GitHub in a link in the description. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.